Hi, I'm Lise Colucci, and I'm one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com, where we help you to discover, understand, and overcome narcissism and toxic relationships. If you have any questions about narcissistic people, head over to queenbeing.com where we have lots of information and help. And if you need any coaching or group coaching, check out the information in the description of every video. But for now, let's get started. Hit subscribe and then we will talk about narcissistic mothers and how they use gaslighting to keep you believing something is wrong with you in order to control you. If you were raised by a narcissistic mother, you may have all sorts of conflicting feelings about yourself and beliefs about your own capabilities and self-worth. You might have strong beliefs that you have problems in your life that can't be solved or that you're stuck in some negative situation because of what you were taught. Some examples of how narcissistic mothers do this are that they might convince a child that they have a problem with something like insecurity, or that the child maybe is shy or fearful as, or has anxiety. And that child may have these things going on a little bit, but not to the extreme that the mother likes to play it out. They will often blame shift the reason for the anxiety or fear onto things that are external to the, to the narcissist so that they look like the good guy and everyone else looks like the perpetrator of a problem. They will often be the person that they expect the child to come to for help. In other words, they're there to counsel the child on how to handle their problems. The reality is that they don't want peace and calm in the child's life unless they put it there. They want the child to believe their reality is the child's reality in order to manipulate situations and maintain control of that child. Basically, they're setting it up so that the child goes to them for help in situations, and then they can groom them to believe whatever they want. They're also, in fact, the ones creating the drama in the first place. The narcissistic mother may convince the child in their life, whether it be at school or with friends or other relationships in their family, that those things are causing the child to have these issues or any other issues. I'm just using these as an example. Okay, so that once that child believes that all these external problems are going on in their world and that the mother is the only one to turn to, the, star, the child will start talking about it with the narcissistic mother. And then the narcissistic mother can groom that child to believe anything they want about every situation in their life and every relationship they have with everyone else. This not only creates a lot of anxiety and fear, because the child may be experiencing one thing with family, friends, or at school, or wherever, and which has its ups and downs, but may be in fact very typical and very normal, so to speak. But then the child is being taught to believe that what it is is extreme and bad and awful and fearful. And you know they do this through using words and, and manipulations and toxic patterns of speech that um, fill the child with negativity toward that other thing. You know what I'm saying? They may exaggerate things or lie about things or give half-truths about things in order to make a situation look like it is bad for the child and that the mother is the only thing good for the child. Does that make sense? Meanwhile, that mother be might be a mother who is very hot and cold or rages or has erratic behavior of her own. The child is basically being led down a path of cognitive dissonance where the reality of what they experience is one thing and what they're being told to feel is another. And their real life happenings don't match with what they're feeling. This form of gaslighting, especially with a child, can be really convincing to that child, but what it teaches them is that they are the ones who have a problem. It teaches that person to not trust themselves, and it teaches the child to have fear and anxiety around speaking about what they believe and feel or are experiencing because they're taught not to trust their own experience. Another example that was told to me by someone was how their toxic mother destroyed their views of their own ability to handle finances. They convinced them that they were financially unable to take care of themselves throughout their childhood to the point where they never taught this, this person how to handle money, but then would set them up in situations where they would fail around money. They convinced them that they could never make it on their own and they could never be out of the house. When they finally did have enough and leave, and because it got so bad. And then eventually, as the year went on, things started to fall apart financially just because this was a young person trying to make it on their own who was never taught. The mother immediately took them back in, but instead of saying, hey, let's figure this out, that was really hard, what can we do to make it better? They did the narcissistic thing of saying, you see, 
you can never make it on your own. I'm the only one here to take care of you, blah, blah, blah. You know, and basically they're making them financially dependent upon the mother and at the same time berating them for not having the ability to make it on their own. She said this actually crippled her in life because it, cha it created a belief about herself that she can't take care of herself. And, and she's still, you know, struggling to come out of this, has realized that this was all planted there because of what her mother taught her. Remember that what these mothers are doing here is a form of gaslighting. They are convincing their child that something that isn't going on is going on in order to manipulate their behavior, in order to manipulate them entirely, and in order to maintain control of that child. The thing is, often they're acting under the guise of doing what's for the best interest of the child. And they'll even use those words. Remember that narcissistic parents are under the delusion that that child is an extension of themselves. They do not see the child as an individual. And what they're trying to do is manipulate that child so that that person, as they grow, can never operate without the narcissist having some form of control over them. There's a lot of things you can do if you were raised by a narcissistic parent and this is what's going on for you as an adult. There's a lot of work that you can do in learning to shift your own beliefs and get out there and experience things differently, even though you're going to face the challenges of the words of your toxic mother echoing in your head. A lot of coaching and therapy can help with this sort of situation so that you have someone by your side to help walk you through it. But shifting your beliefs and gaining a sense of self-worth is a practice and it takes patience and time. So remember, it took a lot of years in programming to get it in there and it's going to take a while to deprogram it. What if you're raising a child right now or parallel parenting with a narcissistic mother as the child's mother? In other words, if your ex is a toxic narcissistic mother. Remember that you can only control what goes on in your own home and you can create a safe and comfortable environment where the child has the ability to speak openly is super important. Keeping words that are too negative toward the toxic parent and you know, keeping it all to yourself and listening is often most useful to the child. Having someone that truly has that child's back will go far in helping their self-esteem and not be quite so affected by a narcissistic parent. So be true to your own parenting ethic. That's basically what I'm saying here. Let the other house be and maintain your own household by not interfering with them and not letting the narcissist and their manipulations affect how you see yourself as a parent and how you have a relationship with your child. The more you push against the narcissist, the worse it's going to get, right? So try to keep it separate and try to keep them out of your house by, I don't know, check it at the door, right? Okay, so, so this is just a brief example of how narcissistic mothers use gaslighting to manipulate situations and create beliefs in you if you are an adult who was raised by this or in children coming up who are being raised by it so that you can be aware when you are parenting alongside them that these kinds of things go on. This is normal for narcissistic mothers, so to speak. You can feel not quite so alone if you're dealing with this in your life. If you have any questions or if you have any examples of what helped when dealing with a narcissistic mother, in situations where they were gaslighting you or you've seen them gaslight your child into believing something that isn't true about themselves. What worked for you? What helped you? Maybe we can help others as they're going through this. Thank you and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out the links below if you need any other help. Bye-bye.